Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you meet me for the first time. Today I want to narrate my experience with the Panasonic BGH1 so far, especially with the Velo. Alright guys, if you're here for the first time, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel, join the family. Here we do music, movies, tech reviews, short films, gear reviews, movie reviews, a whole lot of entertainment. If you like to watch movies or learn how to make movies, this is also the channel for you. Hi, my name is Liliana Lebin. I work for Olive Support Services and I am the program manager here and I oversee outreach. So I plan events, I try to network with as many community members, um, organizations in the Antelope Valley to provide resources to our participants. Hi, my name is Sibone Vargas Gonzalez. I am the intake and outreach specialist here at Olive Support Services. This is my first time with Vlog. And I'm, th I'm thinking Vlog might just be the best of them all, okay, besides Raw, that is. So um, it's, a, it's been a nice experience. Um, you could see from the comparison that uh, it's pretty decent, easy to match. I didn't, you know, try too hard. Um, I just, uh, it wasn't even the same uh, lots. This is just to give you an idea that it's possible. The two cameras are compatible. Now I've got anamorphic plants, which the CISK Pro is not the best option for, even though it's great at it, but it's not, it's not really the best option for it. You know, yeah, I think, um, not like the BGH1 is the best option, uh, but it's got, um, at least I can have it in 4K. I can have my finished product in 4k anamorphic so that is something that i want it's got a, an okay autofocus it's got um, about the same dynamic range 13 stops it's a better crash camera than the um red komodo yeah first of all you won't, you have to get the red komodo to even crash it in a scene you know but this is readily available this is uh, a lot more portable than any of the box cameras and um, it's pretty decent you know and if the way it was designed to be used you know if, if you want to do multiple stuff for a feature film i think i'm going to keep the bgh one as a crash cam what i really wanted to use it for is a it's a documentary that would take a while that would need me to be light that would need me to travel a lot so far i'm loving it if you have ever used the Panasonic, uh, many of the Panasonic before, the G9, GH5, GH5X, um, you, the transition to this box camera will be great. In fact, spotless. But I am straight up fresh to Panasonic, so it's not the same experience, but, uh, and that's in terms of the menu, um, using the, um, what's it called, settings and stuff like that. Those are the harder ones for me to, I mean, I got it all right, but it's the natural tendency to just uh, get used to it, especially when I fall back to the CISK Pro for a while and I switch, I'm always, I'm still struggling to remember what was the settings again and how I, how I got there and stuff like that. But I think I'll catch up. Um, it's not difficult. It's just, you need to keep doing it and get used to it. So, um, other than that, it's a great experience with the camera. Just know that you're going to have a learning curve switching from another camera system to Panasonic BGH1. The BGH1 is the worst Panasonic camera to start up with. That's what I'm trying to say. So it will be nice, nicer if you experienced other Panasonic cameras before you get into this system. Um, hopefully this helps somebody. Hopefully this helps you decide if you're thinking about it. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.